Hey guys, All Out War 76 here. Today I'm going to be bringing you a quick video that was requested uh, by a viewer. Hopefully I'll get the name right. Nehi, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, um, asked if I can show a video of how I made the suspension. Um, I just made another vehicle with suspension on it all. So it's really simple. I mean, suspensions can get really complicated. As I said before, I am not mechanically inclined whatsoever. Um, so I don't know how to build the stuff. I mean, I'm sure there are other tutorials out there, but something like this is really simple. I'm not going to do it on this one because I would have to take the blocks off and everything. Um, so you'd be able to see it easier. But basically what I'm going to do on this is I'm just going to take it apart and put it back together again real quick. I mean, you can design it however you want. Um, I brought it up high so the wheels... Um, wouldn't be down too low because if you make the bend here where my cursor is uh, the wheels are going to be up much higher so you can always adjust depending on um, how low you want the wheels you can bring it up a few bars I'll show you uh, how many short bars this was actually let me grab some other short bars so I could just uh, do some quick measuring Put that there. Just put these blocks here. I believe it's three. One, no, it's only two. So I'm going up two blocks high and then um, curve bars. So I'm going to remove all this stuff just to make it easier for you to see. Okay. So basically, you just take your, uh, what are these called, small straight pipes, I think? Small pipe short, and you're going to need small pipe bends, and you're going to need uh, bearings. So you put down two pipes, put down a bend, and face it this way. Take another bend. You could take another bend and bring it straight down, but I have the wheels coming out a little bit further. So I'm putting another... Um, short pipe there but you can bring it directly down but you would have to remove this line of blocks or you'd have to start here at the end I just put it out a little bit further just to make it a bit wider all right so then you just take your next one aim it down and then from there can I see this lift there we go and lift this up a little bit you're gonna take your suspension I'm using the off-road suspension on this vehicle right here, and I'm using the sport suspension on that one. So you take your suspension, and you just put it there. Now, it would be nice if you could connect bearings to it, but you can't, so unfortunately, you're going to have to put another pipe there, which is why I went up higher, because you see how far you have to go down. Now, from this point on, you can just add another curved... put it out you could put a bearing on it and then you could put your uh, wheel on it but as you can see here I have another bearing and the reason why is I have both wheels the both the front and back wheels turning so if you don't have that system you would basically just set it up like this and then of course you know um, attach your motor I'd have to pull this down to get to it but attach your motor like you normally would for any car but if you do want to do it this way, where you have both wheels turned, then you would put a bearing underneath. Take your curved pipe. Place another bearing here. And then your wheel. So I'm going to lower this. I'll show you how you would connect it if you did it this way. So you go to the motor. Where's Which one's my... This is my motor for the tires. And you connect the motor to that one there. And then this one here, you connect to the drive seat. But you would need to upgrade your drive seat for more connections. Okay, and then once you have that there, and this there, make sure your rotations are correct. And once you get off the lift, let's get in here. You can turn them both ways depending on how you set the rotation. Also, another thing, if you upgrade your seat to five, you'll then get settings for these bearings. So you see how I could change rotation or use? If you use, you could change 
how much the seats turn. I mean, the the tires turn. Well, the actual bearing itself. I had them set to 20. Since I put this back on, it reset. But I'm going to put it back down to 20. If I can do it. But yeah, that's a basic suspension. You basically just uh, put some pipes around. Connect the suspension. Um, connect a bearing here if you want. If not, um, just connect your other pipe and a bearing there. And that's pretty much it. Another thing you're going to want to do, though, is set your suspension. Because if it, it's originally going to be off, and depending on the weight, you know, it might drop down like that. So you might need to upgrade it once or twice, depending on how heavy your vehicle is. You don't necessarily have to bring it up to the limit. Um, it all depends on how heavy your vehicle is. All right, so I hope that helps. Thanks for watching and take care.